Hello, I'm Colin Fallison, and here with the international LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. New York's mayor will take part in this year's St. Patrick's Day parade after organisers agreed to allow LGBT groups to march. A single group was allowed last year, but full inclusion has been achieved as a result of Mayor de Blasio's protest. The government of the Seychelles submitted a bill to decriminalise gay sex this week following pressure from the British government. The colonial era law is an obstacle to increased tourism, which makes up a large part of the island's economy. The Australian Greens submitted a petition to Parliament today containing over 70,000 signatures in support of the Safe Schools anti-bullying programme. Senator Janet Rice said criticism of the programme endangers vulnerable young LGBTI people. Domacom is crowdfunding to raise $25 million for an LGBTI retirement village near Melbourne. Linton Estate will comprise 120 accommodations and is believed to be the first ever crowdfunding project of its type. And finally, US Ambassador Samantha Power took 15 UN delegates to see the musical Fun Home on Broadway this week. Ambassadors from Russia, Gabon and Namibia witnessed the difficulties of coming out in the autobiographical work by lesbian writer Alison Bechtel. Well, that's all for Pink 60 for now. Join us again tomorrow for the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories on our Facebook and Twitter pages by searching for Pink 60 News.